another banger I know I've been gone I, I, I know school has been kicking my butt <sighs> it is just a few more days before Christmas and there's still no tree up but I did pull it out I'm not saying it it has been sitting there for about two weeks but we're not talking about that living room looks like a mess so I pulled everything out there she is and all the decorate i don't even know what's in all of these boxes that's ridiculous and then we have our best present in the world mm. <laughs> hi sydney hello you ready for christmas yeah did you buy gifts this year sydney a little bit too many but yeah <laughs> And Cindy keeps getting upset when she thinks about leaving for college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have to talk about it yet. No, you still got some time. I know, but still. It's just a new chapter in your life. Yeah. But let's get through Christmas first. Yeah. So did you wrap all your gifts, Cindy? <clears throat> no, they're just sitting in my room, actually. I could go look through them? No. And you already opened... I know you opened that box and then you put it in front of my room. Open what box? The Amazon box. No, it was already open, actually. Oh. I didn't look in it. What? I did not look in the box. Okay, I believe you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Mm. <laughs> I did not look exactly. in the box, Sydney. I didn't. Oh, I am going to attempt to put up the tree. So Bobby is on her way here. She's driving. She may have an hour or two. But you know what? She's not coming home first. We are not her first stop. What nerd? What nerd? What nerd? <sighs> so she is going straight to practice. Let me tell you, that girl's dedication and work ethic is crazy. So she is going to meet her trainer uh, for them to work out. Um, so she won't be home for a while. So I kind of want to have the tree up before she gets here and figure out what we're gonna have for dinner. I was thinking about some Alfredo. Sydney won't eat the Alfredo sauce. You won't eat the Alfredo sauce, Sydney? No, probably not. Why? Well, I did have a donut earlier and it made me feel really nauseous, so I'm just gonna not do the dairy anymore. So, Sydney has now been going, where have you been going? You go once a week or every other week? Once a week to the chiropractor. Mm -hmm. You better find out how much that's costing. Why do you go to the chiropractor? Because I have real bad back issues and... You're too young for that. <laughs> I'm exactly the issue. I just, my back always hurts, so he just adjusts me every time I go. And he's like a really good person, so it's fun to go and like talk with him. And I know his family pretty well, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. And then where are we going Monday? To the gastro doctor, because my problems just keep coming <laughs> for my stomach. So, hopefully they don't have to put a camera down my throat, otherwise I'm just going to not do Well, that. you wouldn't be awake for that anyway. Know, but then can you imagine how expensive that would be? Exactly. Exactly. You better take you some Prevacid and take a nap. We never even did the okay. Prevacid. Uh, who has my card? You could have gone and got the Prevacid. I don't ask for that. Like, it's over the counter. So they would give it to me even though I'm No, underage. you go down the aisle and look for it. And I would be able to buy it since I'm underage? Do they know you're underage? No. They could ask you. When I tried to buy <clears throat> Sharpies at the grocery store, the lady almost didn't let me because I'm under 18. Sharpies? Yes, because people are immature and... Ugh. Well, anyway, um, I mentioned that I was having, I'm trying to make me some breakfast. House is a mess, y'all. It is what it is, okay? It is what it is. I'm trying to make me a breakfast burrito, and it's like 1 o'clock. 
I haven't eaten yet. So, um, I mentioned that I had some health issues. And it's the same ones as before, but so I'm trying to make some home fries, but from the frozen potatoes, the last time I made them, they were too mushy. So I put them in an air fryer first, and then I'll put them in a pan with some onions and some seasonings so they won't be mushy. So I was like, I pre-cooked them. So anyway, um, I went to the doctor again. I still have the cough. She gave me an inhaler. So it's like it flares up at night and I'll have little moments of coughing fits throughout the day. Not many, but at nighttime, forget about it. <clears throat> but I have learned that if I take my inhaler before bed, if I do like two or three pumps or something like that before bed, then it'll settle everything down and I won't cough. And the coughing will be horrible at nighttime. And I went out last night to a Christmas party and I had to go to the bathroom because you know you're around people who really don't know you. They'll be like, oh, COVID, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, it's not COVID. I've been coughing for nine months, bro. It's not COVID. So my eyes were starting to water. I was trying to hold it and enjoy. Be a man, be a man, don't cough. And baby, I excused myself and went to the bathroom and had a coughing party. It was, I did when I went to Stacy's last night. And so I had, I just had to leave. And um, so that's that. And then when I got my blood work back, the doctor looked at me, she was like, your numbers are lower than they were the last time we did this whole process. They're worse. You either need to go to the ER or you need to go get an infusion um, immediately. But here's the kicker. So I tried to set up an appointment. I was wondering why I was taking so long. Baby, I have new insurance. So with the new insurance, it'll, it'll cover another infusion. Oh, did you figure it out? Nope. Okay. It'll cover another infusion, but the facility that I go to or that I went to, they don't use medication from outside vendors. They have their own medication. And so with my new insurance, they'll, I get a prescription for the medication and then the doctors are to use that medicine, but they don't use outside vendors. So I was like, okay, fine. So where do I go? So I called the insurance, where do I go? Where do I go? Who's going to accept a prescription so I can get this done? Cricket. Nobody knows anything. And then the hematologist was like, well, you can pay $4,000 for this treatment or you can pay $1,500 for the other treatment. I'm like, miss. Who you think I am, Rockefeller? I am still without my infusion. I'm just tired all the time. Thank God I'm not fainting. And I asked, should I go to the ER? And the hematologist said, if you go to the ER, they're not gonna give you the dosage that you need to bring your levels back to normal. They're just not gonna do it. They don't do that at the ER. So now I'm trying to find a facility, an infusion facility, where I can get, so then if, therefore I'll be looking for another doctor. They'll have to do more blood work. So it's just, it's just been frustrating. So tomorrow, I guess I'm gonna call the hotline to see if I could get any help to try to get um, some help during this two week break. Cause I think this is just, it's just ridiculous. And I'm just tired all the time. Like I can literally stay in bed all day. And the only reason I get up for work is because I know those babies, they be waiting on me and I need to pay some bills. <laughs> so with that said, I'm gonna make, what'd you say? Who's that? Oh. Is it silver or gold hoops that you like? Or does it not matter? Oh, Cindy's talking to Bobby. Silver? Let's see Bobby, where are you Bobby? You still driving? How far are you? Oh, so you're but she's not she's not coming straight here. You have a car holder for your phone? Nope, it's in her hand. I know you lying. I can't, I left mine in my old car. I need to get a new one. 
All right. Well, drive safe. See you soon. Bye. So what happened was <laughs> when I got my Ford Explorer, it was a whole big deal. It was a whole big deal. So I'm not going to go into that story. I've had it, and it was used, but I've had it for, what, two years? Sure. Yeah, I've had, I've had it for two years. And so the guy who helped me get the car, he had been calling me. He's probably been calling me for about a year. And so I finally had an opportunity to call him back. I was like, hey, Mr. Washington, what's going on? So he asked me about the car, asked me how I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. So he was like, you know, how many miles on a car? I said, it's over 100,000. I think it was like 140,000, 130. And he says, that's when the car starts to go down. And a lot of things were happening, was happening to the car. It was really going downhill. And I just invested over $1,000 in a car because I had to get brakes, had to get tires. Um, I had to try to get the seat fit. So it was starting to go down. I ended up getting another car. Um, used, same payment, same everything, so why not? Um, this car has what, how many miles? 40,000? Yeah. Yeah, like 40,000, same payments, whatever. So I'm like, that's win-win. And then in a couple of months, I'll refi. What does that mean? Refinance the car for a lower rate. Don't worry about it. And so I got this car. So I went and bought a new um, car for my phone in the car. So now Bobby is saying she doesn't have one because when she crashed her other car, blah, 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 she doesn't have one. I bought one for me. So I guess I'm going to be giving her my car holder for Christmas. I just can't win. So let me go eat very quickly and then Dirty, but that's all right. That's all right. It's chow down time. <laughs> Don't you wanna sit it? Don't you wanna? Up on the <laughs> 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 